What's up, YouTube? I'm King Shanks, and this is Droid's Finest, and I'm back with Shadowrun Dragonfall Part 108. I'm back here because I've decided to change my decision after seeing all the outcomes. I went through them all last night, and I'll explain them all to you when I get down here. And as soon as I get down here. This happens every single time. Not a word of a lie, every time it glitches. Even off camera, it doesn't matter. It takes about two minutes for it to get to normal. I don't know why. Every single time. It's obviously a bug in the game, but I can deal with it. I don't mind waiting a few minutes just to get moving. Oh, I still can't move the screen. But yes, I'm going to explain all of the decisions and what happens when you do them. Uh, the outcome's always the same. It doesn't change. Like, uh, when I get back, I still have to talk to Amzil. He has terrible news every single time. So it's not like it's going to change the course of the game or anything. It literally just changes what's happening in this moment. Okay, so, <clears throat> blah, 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 prototype. I shouldn't give it to her, Schmidt, because that would be dis disgraceful or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And apparently, Gurgle Squirt's the only one that knows what the second van is here for, and I am going to give it to the Lodge. Um, and I'll explain that in a second, but first, let me explain. Uh, obviously, we know what happens when I do with, with uh, give it him alive to her, Schmidt. When I give it to Ur Schmidt alive, I only complete the one objective, which is uh, what I'm here to do. Recover the prototype. I only do that, and I escape with prototype. That's, that's the only one I get. If I give it to the Lodge, I'll get um, <clears throat> the optional give it to the Lodge. I escape with the prototype, blah, blah, blah. So I get two instead of one. Now, when I talk to him, there's two options here. The options are put it out of his misery or have glory disable MK6's control units. If you put him out of his misery, Gurgle Squirt <clears throat> walks up behind him. And as you can see, right behind his metal mask there, there's a piece of brown right at his neck. She literally shoots him in the spine and it kills him instantly. If you have glory disable him, she pulls out the control mechanism that makes him a, basically a robot. She pulls that out. He says thank you, and then gets his big metal hands and crushes his own head. So either way, he kills himself. Um, so the only reason I'm deciding to go to the lodge is because that way I can complete two objectives instead of just the one with escape. If I go here, I just escape with it. If I go here, I get escape with it and give it to the lodge. So that's what I'm going to do. The outcome, like I said, is always the same. You still get 10 karma. You still go back to Amzil saying, Oh, there's terrible news! Get to the safe house! So yeah, that's why I've changed my mind and decided to go this way after looking at all of them. See? Two objectives instead of one. And if he kills himself, you don't get any objectives. <laughs> you get none. You just leave. And you leave in uh, Ur Schmidt's car, no matter what, if he kills himself. Or if you kill him, the MK6. That was a really hard decision for me to make last night. And that's why last night I kept going back and looking at every possible outcome and what would happen. So I decided, hey, go for the Lodge. Why not? Even though the Lodge, I don't know about. I mean, they did trick me into murdering a bunch of people in a building. So, kind of, kind of a dick move, bro. And I read this in the last one, but I'll read it again anyways, just in case, you know, you don't want to watch the last one because it was a kind of hard decision video. Anyways, the U-Bahn feels especially cramped on your ride back to the Cruise Bazaar. In your mind's eye, you can still see the carnage that you left behind at the AI Kemi building. Memories replay themselves over and over in your mind. <clears throat> Fleeting visions of, hulk of a hulking thing made of muscle and chrome. You put them aside, shelve them for later, the job is over, it's time to collect my pay. But I wasn't even getting paid 
for this mission anyways, I don't think. I'm pretty sure the guy said he wasn't going to pay us, so whatever. It's all good. And you'll see right now, it's the exact same. Amzol still tweets my thing and says, hey, this is a terrible news. It's probably going to lead to a whole branch of other missions, and I'm still not done the ones that I want to do, but that's all right. In all due time, my friends, in all due time. And I'm pretty sure when I bought this game, it said there's multiple endings, so I kind of want to search out as many endings as I can, but that's for later on. I'm not there yet. I think I'm getting close, but not there yet. Come on, we got a bunch of pricks, let's load. There we go. I think I'm happy with the decision I made. You know, I just, I figured, screw it, go for more objectives, I guess, and whatever. Scandalous Scandinavian skank ass up. I don't know where I came up with that. It's just scus scus scus. The scus sounds over and over again. It just sounds funny. Never mind. Nothing about Scandinavia. Nothing against you guys at all. In fact, you guys are awesome. Okay, so the PDA rings in the face of your fixer. Paul Amzil appears on the screen. I have uncovered some terrible information. The team is assembled in the safe house. Please meet with me, with us there when you are able. No problem, Joe. I'll go now. I could just go to another mission right off the bat, but I'll just go and do this now. Why does she always do that? She runs up to that pot for some reason every time I click on the safe house. Let me guess. Oh, okay, so maybe this won't be a whole situation where I need to talk to everybody. It probably will be, but whatever. It's like, today is probably just going to be a talking day. Oh, here we go. Hey, Pooch. Did you learn the new one yet? Hmm? Huh, huh, boy? You learn a new one? What's the new one? Oh, yeah, Play Dead. No, he doesn't know that one yet. Sit! <clears throat> At him. Woof. Okay, so here's Amzel about to talk some bullshit. All up in that bullshit. Let's see what he has to say. Probably horrible information. As you step forward, the rest of your team falls silent. Amzel shifts his attention to you. You can see the worry on his face. Oh, can I? I don't see any worry on his face. His picture looks the exact same, bro. Gurgle Squirt, I have new information. I am afraid that the news isn't good. Okay. You said come... You said over the comm. Go on, we're listening. Skip the primable... Wait. Primable? Okay, yeah. Skip the primable and tell us what you've learned. Yeah, I can tell. You've gathered the whole team. Yeah, I can tell. You've gathered the whole team. He nods. Yes, this is something that you all need to hear. Well, go on then. We're listening. Two years ago, a large shipment of a highly lethal radioactive bioweapon disappeared en route to storage facility in Dresden. The weapon was designed designated X-15. Oh, well, that's just great. So what, are we fighting wolverines now? Is that what's happening? Hmm? I think we're fighting wolverines now. Okay. I have traced the path of the missing shipment it was delivered to Harfield Manor. Oh, that place. That was the place at the very beginning where I first ran into the fucker that fucked me over with the fucking shit, fucker. 
Okay. Anyways, well, that sounds horrible. It is. I've heard of this stuff before. Back in the service, it was called Doom. I never run I never run across it in the world or in the wild. What? Okay. But I've heard enough horror stories to know that I don't want to. The stories that you heard are correct. This doom is extremely dangerous is an extremely dangerous substance. Well shit, maybe that's what I needed for the thing. Uh he gestures to a technical document on his computer. I've been reading up. Of course you have. You're just a bookworm, aren't you, Ansel? Okay. To this day, the story of Doom reigns a cautionary tale in the biotech circles. Monoclonal. Monocle. Monoclonal? I don't know what the fuck that is. Antibody technology is strictly regulated now. The su now this uh, now and this uh, ugh, okay antibody technology is strictly regulated now and this substance is one of the reasons why there I did it without tripping over my mouth <clears throat> what does this stuff do exactly Amzo clears his throat and reads aloud from the information on his screen doom kills by destroying a host's muscular tissue via radioactive decay so it's basically cancer then I'm assuming well kinda like cancer anyways cancer's a bitch each individual doom antibody is a pound is bound to a radioactive bismuth negative 212 isotope <sighs> Science, everybody. If you're science, if you're sciencing out there, you probably understand this better than I do. When introduced to the, when introduced to a host, wait. When introduced into a host, these antibodies bind to the surface level muscle tissue. The tissue is then killed with alpha radiation. Well, I guess that that would cause more of an effect like uh, ALS, not like cancer, because cancer. Well, obviously. Horrible. Worst thing ever. I wish it would just die in hell. But ALS actually attacks, like, muscle tissue and stuff like that. And there's other diseases, too, that attack muscle and, you know, nerve systems and bones and everything like that. I don't know all of them by name, but I'm pretty sure the one I'm talking about is ALS because Stephen Hawking had that. And that's where I'm getting my information from. So, yeah. Anyways, let's continue. This process repeats itself until the host wastes away and dies. Ugh. Rest in peace, Stephen Hawking. He truly was an inspirational person. Fucking genius. Absolutely. I used to watch a lot of documentaries of him explaining time and space and everything like that on the Discovery Channel. Jesus! Eager nods grimly. I've heard that Doom was deployed in a couple of border s skirmishes back in 41 after seeing what it did to people up close the UCSS or wait the UCAS passed a u unilateral ban on the stuff if that doesn't tell you how bad it is nothing will well for fuck's sakes what do I do about it okay so I hesitate to ask but what would a dragon want with this trick with this shist Nothing good. I'll probably drink it and spit that stuff instead of fire. I don't know. That much goes without saying. This development worries me, Gurgle Squirt. It worries me greatly. Okay. So the dragon has a bioweapon. Alright. Good to know. But that doesn't change what we need to do. If the dragon is stockpiling bio weapons, we've got an even bigger problem than we thought on our hands. I'm looking at the big picture here, and I don't like what I see. It doesn't change what we need to do. We need to kill this fucker or something. I don't know. I'm with Gurgle Squirt on this one. This is interesting, scary even, but it doesn't actually change anything. I mean, it ups the stakes if Firewing's allowed to carry out her plans. However... Or wait, whatever those might be. But we're gonna stop her before that happens. 
Oh, son of a bitch. I'm out of time. Okay, so I'm probably another extra long episode because of talking and such. I'm going to stop her before any of that happens. Okay, so that was the plan. As far as I'm concerned, it's still the plan now. I agree with Dietrich. We need to focus on what's in front of us. Whatever the dragon's larger plans might be, the fact is that she is after us. Us! We shouldn't let ourselves get distracted by anything else. Amsel is slow to respond. Finally nods. I said respine, I don't know. Uh, yeah, my mouth. It's like I've, sa I've said this many times before. Sometimes I read, I can read in my head a lot faster than my mouth can keep up. So it's, I don't know. I just, whatever. It is what it is. I fuck up sometimes. In some words, I don't even know what the hell they mean. So, <laughs> it's, I mean, yeah. Yes, I concur. For the long, for the time being, we must continue forward. And that means that you must continue working towards Ali raising Alice's fee. Yeah, I'm working towards that. I literally have a mission set up that I she will give me the rest of the money that I need. But there's other missions that I want to do, so stop talking and let me do shit. I'll leave the matter in your capable hands, Gurgle Squirt. When you've acquired the necessary funds and are ready to head back out to the rabbit hole, let me know. From there, we will discuss our next steps. Okay. Iger nods. Good. If you need me, I'll be getting prepped for the next run. Right behind you, love. Dietrich casts <clears throat> a backward glance at Glory. If any of this has had an impact on her, she doesn't show it. Come on, Glory, let's go. Nobody even talks to Blitz. They're all just like, yeah, fuck you, Blitz. <laughs> like, seriously, what kind of assholes are they? Okay, let them scramble back to where they gotta go, because apparently that's what they're doing. Okay, so am I gonna... Do I need to talk to all of them? Because if I do, then that's gonna be all this... All the city is worth is talking to these guys. Yep. So, I'm gonna save, and then I'll do my talking, because they're gonna want to talk about the missions, and maybe I can talk to Glory and all the more about their personal shit. Can I save here? I don't know. Sometimes it lets me, sometimes it doesn't. So I'll just save right here. And we're, we've got a whole fucking two hours of talking ahead of us. Hopefully it's not that long. But it probably will be. And I still have ten karma. I gotta go get more karma. Karma is the, the main thing here. I need to upgrade a bunch of stuff. And I, actually, when I'm done saving, I'm going to check my upgrades to see just what exactly I should be upgrading and everything. <clears throat> and I'm going to erase some of these saves so it doesn't take so long for me to make a new save or whatever. Four minutes for this to load up. Done yet? No, of course not. But that was because yesterday I was so paranoid in that other place, I kept making new saves. Because I wasn't sure I was going to make it out. But I did, so we're good. <clears throat> and I'm confident with my decision in giving... Yeah, I'm completely confident in giving my... In giving, um... MK6 to the lodge. I'm confident with my decision. That was the original decision I was going to make anyways. And then, you know, a message popped up saying I was the only one that knew about it and I didn't want to make those kind of decisions but behind my team's back. But I remembered again last night, everything I've done with the lodge so far, which is only one thing, was only gurgle squirt anyways. So it's kind of like her own side piece. Okay, so I just want to take a quick look at what I can upgrade. I'm not upgrading anything just yet. Uh, hmm. Okay, so... I wish I could... What does revert do? Will revert give me my karma back? I just saved, so I'm just going to check. 
Wait, what? Oh, okay, so it won't let me do that. Anyways, there's a few things that, like, she doesn't need close combat. I don't have a close combat weapon with her. Don't need throwing. I might need some intelligence, because intel, what is it? What exactly does intelligence do again? Used in decking or rigging to calculate? No, okay, I don't need that. All, wait, also used to reduce the chance of to be hit by the enemy. So yes, I do want intelligence. Ugh. I do want intelligence. Okay. Mm. Willpower. Uh, okay, I don't need any charisma. I'm, I'm gonna go for... If you notice... They're all kind of set differently, like, I can upgrade, say, Charisma. See how it's green? Everything underneath Charisma has something to do with Charisma, right? Like, uh, that's my shamanism or whatever, right? So that's all to do with conjuring spirits and all that. And then if I look at will willpower, willpower is like spellcasting, chi... Right? So I can upgrade... See, I need intelligence. Like, I may not need biotech, but I do need intelligence so that I can dodge better. Uh, strength, I'm going to do strength because also determines how far a grenade can be thrown. Well, I guess I don't really need that. Need that. Wait, use to calculate the chance to hit with a melee weapon. Uh, yeah, I don't really need that. Oh, go up, please. Why does it freeze like this so much? Case. So. Why? Come on! Let me fucking move the shit! My. My quickness is pretty good. I think I want everything to be at about 5. So that's what I'm gonna aim for. I'm gonna try to get everything to 5. Uh, all the ones that are high, like quickness and everything like that. I want those at, like, five, and then I'll worry about everything sub to that. Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode. I already saved, so I don't even need to worry about exiting. Anyways, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon. Peace!